How to switch from Windows to Linux Are you planning on switching to Linux, maybe because Windows 11 is plagued with bugs and serious flaws, or the cost of upgrading is unaffordable, or you simply don't like Windows 11, or even Windows 10? Then this video is definitely for you. Linux is a free and open source operating system that comes in many so-called flavors, or distributions. And because of the open source nature and philosophy, there are many hundreds of different distributions, all of which have different looks, purposes, and features. Some are specifically for beginners and noobs, while others are more advanced and are used by skilled professionals who do some kind of job or using something like Kali Linux, say for penetration testing, is necessary. So in this video, I will go over the things you must know about before you switch to Linux. I will also try my best to give you some advice on how to trade your paid for software for free software. Firstly, because there is such a large pool of Linux distributions out there, you will need to look at what one best fits you. So if you're a newcomer to Linux and you're only scratching the surface, then a distro like Linux Mint or Peppermint OS is perfect for you. However, if you want pure minimalism and a fully customized system, perhaps take a look at Arch Linux. And if you're up for a bit of fun and games, then perhaps go with a distro tailored towards gaming or content creation, such as Ubuntu Studio. This comes packed full of lots and lots of applications, perfect for audio, image, and video production, and it's all free. Switching to Linux can save you money as you can revive older hardware, or less powerful hardware. So if you have an old PC or laptop, I would highly recommend you try a lightweight Linux distro on it and see how well it runs. If it runs smoothly and can do the basics, you know you're good to go, but maybe try 10 or so different distributions, because you have to see what you like most. You might prefer the look of one distro over another, you might prefer some features one has that another does not, and so on and so forth, so while it may seem daunting to switch to Linux, you can actually do it quite easily. Unless of course you don't have the time, patience, and skill necessary to learn a new operating system, but for all intensive purposes, you should be able to switch to Linux, given you do not rely on proprietary software, and if you do rely on it, you should try a free and open source alternative and see if that can do everything the proprietary software can. This is not always a possibility, but for 99% of applications out there, you can most often find a free one that at least tries to do all the same stuff the paid for one does. Switching to Linux also requires basic terminal knowledge. You can get by without the terminal in Linux, but I personally think that knowing some handy commands is useful, as many tasks can be done quicker through the terminal, such as updating your system, installing and removing applications, etc. So if you want to move to Linux, be sure to find some useful commands. Plenty of websites out there have must-know commands for Linux, as well as other, lesser-known commands. I should also mention that hardware support can be iffy, but if your PC meets the minimum requirements to run the distro you choose, it should be able to run it with no problems. However, some accessories like graphics cards, especially if they are really new, might not have the official driver support on Linux, so it can be more difficult to get GPUs or other things working, but this is only based on the assumption that the driver does not exist on Linux, if it does, your system should automatically find it and install it. Most distributions have built-in driver managers that let you update or install drivers to make the hardware work in optimal condition. You will also need to see what your computer's main method of booting is, as you usually have to flash a USB stick, which will contain the Linux operating system you wish to install. But not all PCs are capable of booting via USB, some still use optical drives for CDs and DVDs. So if your PC does not have the ability to boot from a USB, you will need to buy some optical media, and burn the Linux operating system onto there instead. However, since about 2010, all computers can boot from USB, or at least support that ability. Another thing to consider is what you will be using your PC or laptop for. Will you be doing intensive, demanding tasks, or will you just be doing basics like browsing the web? Some distros cater specifically to gamers, 
content creators, and creative minds in general, while some others can be geared more towards privacy, take Tails OS for example, and as mentioned, there are many beginner-friendly distros. My personal recommendation for a newcomer to Linux would have to be Linux Mint, as it supports a lot of hardware, has a wide range of FOSS applications available in the built-in software store, Mint is also great because it works well straight from the get-go, no additional maintenance or configuration is needed once you have it up and running, Mint also comes with some fantastic free and open source software, such as the beloved LibreOffice, VLC Media Player. Firefox web browser, etc. One weird thing I often hear people say is this, if you switch to Linux, you're not really doing a lot with your PC. Now, I can prove you wrong, big time, think of all the amazing things you can do in Blender or GIMP, or the amazing videos you can produce with DaVinci Resolve, that can all be done on Linux thanks to the open source nature of these programs, however, I do understand why people say that, it's certainly harder, if not, impossible to achieve some tasks on Linux, and many popular games just don't support Linux, because that's not where the market is, so for some things, yes, you definitely miss out and are unable to do some specific things you could do on Windows, however, I believe that the people who switch to Linux often look for the benefits more than the cons, and try to see if the benefits outweigh the downsides, for most people. The advantages far outweigh the disadvantages, but for some users, you might be better off not switching to Linux, especially if the software or games you have do not support Linux. However, my goal is to convince even the most stubborn of PC users to try a free and open source, viable alternative to substandard proprietary garbage. I want people to know that there is a free alternative to micro shit Windows and Apple's stinky and overpriced Mac OS. As Linux offers you a world full of freedom, liberty, full customization and user control, better privacy, amongst many other things, the whole point of my channel is to educate people on how free stuff can be better than paid for proprietary software. We also try to encourage you to use free and open source software and support it, as there will only be more demand for such stuff as the inequality in the world continues to rise. Remember. There are people out there who don't even have enough for the basics of life, how could you possibly expect the most dirt poor of poverty stricken people to purchase a new laptop or PC just to run Windows 11, they obviously cannot do it because it is not within their financial means or reach, and the poor people who have computers often have refurbished or pre-owned systems that have been subject to wear and tire and billions of PCs out there are fought with the restrictive minimum hardware requirements of Windows 11, so with that being the case, it is inevitable that a small number of people will continue to migrate to Linux, as people are getting sick of Windows being the substandard garbage that it is, being full of bloat, spyware, and other shit we don't need nor ask for, and now that Windows is possibly going to become subscription based in the future, this is only going to push even more people to switch to Linux, unless of course that is not something they can do due to software or hardware limitations, sometimes it's a bit of both, but I believe that if you have the time and skill necessary to learn a new operating system, you should absolutely do so, as it could be a rewarding and enjoyable experience, and you can quite literally save money by converting to free and open source software. That money could go towards something like a custom PC, you won't be able to do that if you keep spending money on your operating system and software, but you would have to consider other things that could affect this too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, as I am now drawing it to a close. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.